Day 51. City looks grayer and grayer by the minute. Gave Tim more money on the way to work. Hopefully, he can get back on his feet soon. Door is unlocked. Oh, good evening. Evening to you. Michael Montero. Are you New York's finest private eye? If that's what you want to believe, then I'll say yes. Take a seat. Yes, please. What can I do for you, Mr. Wiley. Liam Wiley. I'm, I'm here to report on a crime that happened a couple blocks out. So anyway, I was on my way to a meeting, and you know me, I like to grab breakfast beforehand. Sure. So anyway, as I was leaving this joint, there was this homeless guy looking at me, all kind of funny. And, and he must have loved the ghetto, he thought I had so much dough. And then he, he ended up jumping on me. And I had to shoot him. I shot him square in the chest. Anyway, I didn't know where else to go. I never shot somebody down like that before. So I just wanted to come here and set the record straight for you. Mr. Wiley, do me a favor. Stand still. Had a good breakfast this morning, Mr. Wiley? <laughs> God, it was heaven. I went down by that place. The Coast Corner? I'm familiar with the area. Actually, I can smell sausage off your breath. So, what do you want, Mr. Wiley? Does it matter? Well, your apparel and shoes are very expensive, and your wallet is loaded. Can we skip the trivial questions? Quiet! Just one more thing, Mr. Wiley. Your scent smells terrible, like you came out of a dumpster. Why would the men dressed such as you do smell that bad? So this is what I did. You said it happened. You woke up, dressed up nice, and went out for your meeting. On your way there, you stopped by the corner for breakfast. There, there was a homeless man who asked either for money or for food. You laughed at him, taunted him with your weapon. He tried to grab it from you, and you shot him. Anyway, you robbed him and came to me to frame it as if he was the one who attacked him. How did you? Tim was his name, a homeless man who owned money to a mob. I gave him five dollars every day to pay off his debt. By the way you are dressed, you belong to the same mob that lent him money. All right, your turn. Hands in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Hands in the air. Maybe when you learn to have the safety off, I'll think about it. So, this is what is going to happen. You're going to take this money and tell your boss you are sorry for being late. You rob the money from someone to make up for it. So, before your meeting begins, we are going to ask to use the restroom and leave the building by the back door. Now, at that same time, the police and I are going to arrive and arrest your friends. I'm going to pretend I don't see you. And you are going to leave this city and never come back. Now, get going before I change my mind. Yes, sir. When you are in the game long enough, you start seeing patterns in people and the stories they tell. You are not that different. Enjoy your life. Unlike Tim, you didn't get the chance to. Meet.